right, this is the central California coast, Big Sur, and uh, it just never disappoints. It's been just nonstop travel to get here. And so now that I'm here, I'm so excited to shoot and do stuff, but uh, I'm a little bit out of sorts. There's a few places that uh, I know I wanted to uh, visit, and uh, this is my second time back here. So a few things look familiar, but um, it's tough because a lot of this coast is not accessible. Um, there's not a lot of trails out there. It's a lot of private property, which is unfortunate. But um, we're going to keep going down the coast a little bit this way and uh, see what we can find. That was a great spot. Um, there's finally some kind of headlands that you can get into, which is fantastic. And now what? Haven't really got uh, this far in the plan yet. I'm kind of in the middle of the coast, which there's not a lot going on. I've got no cell coverage out here. So I know Morro Bay is still south, but I'm hoping I can find like a hotel or something to regroup in a little bit closer than that so uh there you go the no plan plan hopefully i'll be able to find a place and uh wow unreal all right i don't know if there's anything better than a california sunset What's up guys? Welcome to my days in in San Simeon, California, which is uh, the furthest south that uh, this trip's going to get. Uh, from here on in, it's all uh, northbound. So the plan today is to explore a 90 mile uh, stretch of coastline from here up to Carmel. Um, I'm just going to shoot and explore around today. Uh, tonight I'm staying in Monterey and uh, getting prepared for Thursday and Friday that are going to be in uh, San Francisco. The key is to go slow. Most of the light isn't gonna really hit uh, for a couple more hours. And then it's trying to find uh, the best way to use that light. So. It's the high of the week out here. I think it was 16 or it's going up to 16 today. So uh, pretty mild. I woke up to uh, a notification on uh, our nest cameras and Natal was out there slugging snow at uh, 6 a.m. So uh, guilt definitely sets in when, when you see that. But uh, there is purpose. I'm not just touring the coast. I'm here for a specific project uh, in San Francisco and Mountain View. Um, this was just kind of a tack on added 
uh, something I wanted to do as well. Same with what we did even when uh, we went to Seattle. So Seattle was a great way to start this and it just is a chain reaction to a bunch of uh, different things. So um, all the time, it's about maximizing that time away or preparing for a trip and uh, you know seeing how much you can squeeze um, out of it. But uh, yeah, pretty fortunate. Today has been probably the most relaxed day um, there wasn't a lot of driving. I'm only have under 100 miles planned for the day. So um, Taking it easy and, and quite enjoying it It's just trying to keep a decent pace so you don't go too slow and you don't go too fast as well, but uh, I Think I'm gonna head in for a little bit of a straight stretch for you know 10 or 20 miles and then basically we reach uh, no service again for a while and uh, That's when it gets good because I think a lot of people when they're in San Francisco have already turned around by now. Um, I'm like right by, to give you a little bit of a, a sense of where I am, San Simeon is uh, basically Hertz Castle. And uh, it's this really cool, I don't even know how to, how to describe it, but it's a cool castle. And the only way up there is uh, a tour. And uh, I wasn't about to, uh, to do that. So, uh, but the photos of the, the house look amazing. I would have loved to have seen it, but. Um, it's not that kind of trip. I'm also traveling with a lot of gear and uh, I don't like to leave uh, the vehicle too much. I actually have additional locks on my bags within the car. So uh, there's a few few things I'm preparing for, mostly uh, San Francisco. But um, even on a trip like this, when I'm, I can hike down to the water and leave the car for a bit, knowing it'll be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get uh, uh, deep into all my stuff. So. That's just what I do, makes me feel a little bit better. Pfeiffer Beach at the Keyhole in uh, Big Sur and uh, there's a time of year between December and January where uh, the sun sets in between that archway right there. So the idea is to see uh, what the light's going to do. It's pretty low on the horizon or it's pretty clear on the horizon, so uh, we could be in for a good sunset. Right now, a lot of the sun is clouded over, but uh, I think once it drops, it'll be interesting. Yeah, I've never been here before either. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's our first time. You know what that is? I'm right? Yeah, I thought yeah. Okay, so this was really impromptu, but Steve came up to me because I was sitting here on the sand with uh, a bunch of gear looking lost. <laughs> and uh, he said, hey, I got a special thing that I'm doing with my girl. And uh, had a box, had a ring in it. And uh, what did you say? Yes. <laughs> of course I said Locked yes. out, she said yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I got to, uh, I shot, I actually videoed the uh, knee drop. 
and uh, we got a couple stills of these guys beforehand so uh, <laughs> we're exchanging some information and then uh, we'll be sure to get these guys their shots. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so Jared. much. That's, That's so, so cool, good. bro. Yeah. So nice. I really appreciate you that, being cool, man. That's super, super random. So I love there's it. My... Come on. How crazy was that? I was sitting here and uh, that actually just brought me back to life, which was uh, uh, nice. But uh, I was sitting here kind of waiting for uh, the sun to go down a little bit. They asked me, hey, he's gonna propose to his girl. I kind of thought he was putting me on. He wasn't. Uh, he asked, she said yes. I shot some video and stills for them. Uh, he gave me his card and uh, I'm gonna get him those photos for, for sure. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> The sun's about to go down, and uh, we're gonna see what it does through uh, that keyhole right there. So. All right, it looks like this is not gonna happen as planned. This is how it goes sometimes. There was a couple hours waiting for this spot, which only happens um, a couple times a year, and um, we got just a ton of cloud coverage right where the sun was was going down. So. Uh, more and more is kind of coming in, so I don't think this is gonna happen at all, which is super, super unfortunate, but uh, it was fun to run into Steve and his gal. That was uh, pretty cool. Uh, it actually woke me up, which, which uh, I think I needed, but um, this is like really unfortunate. So I don't know how much you can see. That layer of cloud, has uh, blocked any chance for that sun ray to come out of uh, there. So what I really wanted to do here was have this sunburst. Well, I guess the shot that I did have was the sunburst here, and then there was a little bit of flow coming out the uh, keyhole there. But uh, I really wanted that low horizon shot directly through. But uh, that's just how it's gonna go sometimes. That's landscape photography for you, so you just never know what's going to happen. Uh, sometimes it works out. Uh, it's a bummer that it didn't uh, go all the way.